Let us apply de Moivre's theorem to find all the fourth root of unity. In other words, we want to apply de Moivre's theorem to solve the equation z to the power 4 equal to 1. Before solving the equation z to the power 4 equal to 1 or g, before applying de Moivre's theorem, let us take modulus on both sides. Modulus of z to the power 4 equal to 1. Now, modulus of z to the power 4 can be written as mod z whole thing to the power 4 equal to 1. But mod z being a real positive real number that gives us mod z equal to 1. Let z equal to, we want to apply de Moivre's theorem, so we have to write z in term of polar coordinate. Let z equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta. Now, as we have observed z equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta, then mod z equal to r, and that we have already observed mod z equal to 1. So that implies z has to be equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Let's plug that values in the equation z to the power 4 equal to 1. So cos theta plus i sin theta whole thing to the power 4 equal to 1. Now we apply de Moivre's theorem that says that cos theta plus i sin theta to the power m equal to cos m theta plus i sin m theta. And 1 is a special complex number. It can be written as 1 plus 0 times i. Wow. We have got complex number on the left hand side that is cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta. And also we have got complex number on the right hand side 1 plus 0i. Once again, we have complex number on the left hand side that is cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta. If we forget uh, i sin 4 theta then cos 4 theta is just a real number. Here also if we forget 0i then 1 is also a real number. Why don't we compare real part and imaginary part? If we compare real part and imaginary part, then we have cos 4 theta equal to 1 and equal to 0. What are the possibilities? Obviously, 4 theta has to be equal to 4 theta equal to n times 360 degree. That means theta has to be n times 90 degree n equal to 1 2 3 dot 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 as many as you like when you take n equal to so case 1 take n equal to 0 you have theta equal to 0 and that implies z equal to cos 0 is 1 plus i times sine 0, sine 0 is 0, so that is just 1. When theta equal to 1, that implies, oh, sorry, mm, let's do case, 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 case. Case 1, n equal to 0, case 2, n equal to 1. So we are writing n equal to 1 here. We will get theta equal to 90 degree. So that implies theta equal to 90 degree and z equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. That's what we have obtained. Our r turns out to be equal to 1. Cos theta plus i sin theta and that is equal to cos 90 degree cos 90 degrees 0 sine 90 degrees 1 case 3 n equal to 2 once again if you write n equal to 2 here you will get theta equal to 180 degree 
so theta equal to 180 degree so z equal to cos 180 degree cos 180 degree plus i sine 180 degree cos 180 degree is minus 1 sine 180 degree is 0 lastly case 4 n equal to 3 theta equal to 3 times 90 degree that is equal to 270 degree so z equal to cos 270 degree plus i sine to 70 degree cos to 70 degree is your uh, same as cos 90 degree 90 degree is 0 and sine 270 degree is minus 1 so you get minus i so we let's combine all the four cases case 1 we have got z equal to 1 case 2 we have got z equal to i case 3 we have got z equal to minus 1 case 4 we have got z equal to minus i so we have obtained exactly four number of roots that are 1 i minus 1 minus i